In this video, I'm going to show you how to use text-to-speech to generate your own voiceovers. You'll find this option under Import Media, Text-to-Speech. We get this window here. The first option chooses where we're going to save our new audio clip. Here is where we'll paste in our script. There's some built-in scripts we can choose from, or we can just type in our own script. We'll paste in a sample here. Here we choose the language that we want our voice to be. There's different accents. So we can have a UK accent. There's all kinds of different languages as well. So within US English, we have all these different voices available. You can hit the play button to preview, see what this voice is gonna sound like. Hello, my name is Danielle. You can pick me as your text-to-speech human-like voice engine for your video avatar. So we can try them all out. We've got male and female voices. Now you notice some of the voices also have this emotion tag on them. If we pick one of those, we get an additional option for which emotion we'd like. So this is just the standard voice. Hello, my name is Guy. You can pick me as your text-to-speech human-like voice engine for your video avatar. But we can also make him be terrified. Hello, my name is Guy. You can pick me as your text-to-speech human-like voice engine for your video avatar. Whisper. Hello, my name is Guy. You can pick me as your text-to-speech human-like voice engine for your video app. Excited. Hello, my name is Guy. You can pick me as your text-to-speech human-like voice engine for your video app. And the final option to show, there's an auto-translate option. So you can see this is an English script. Let's say I was wanted to make a German voiceover. Choose German, German voice with auto translate checked. We hit import speech to generate our clip. Wenn Sie einen Zahnarzt benötigen, haben Sie wahrscheinlich viele Fragen, wie zum Beispiel, werden meine Eingriffe schmerzhaft sein? Akzeptieren Sie meine And you can see it's been translated. And after the import, we'll be able to find this clip in our media library to add into our timeline. And that's it.